there were other times in, in John's room, um, you know, and, and, and it, we spent a lot of time just us. And I remember being in his room. I don't know. He would go to get a drink or, or go to the bathroom or whatever. And I can remember the TV, you know, because we usually would listen to music. But I remember seeing things pass behind me in the chair. Like, you'd be, you'd be in the chair and in the reflection of the TV. The, chair. the television wasn't on. Yeah. And I could see something move back and forth behind me. Now, where uh, would you be in position? Because, you, know, you know, the furnishings of the room and how things were changed right. oftentimes. Uh, what, 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 would be, what was behind you? Were you was it the um, wall with the door? It was, no, it was the wall. Uh, to my mother's bedroom? Facing the side of the house. I was like, my back was to the side of the house, that side window that was in that bedroom. Okay. So had one in the front and then that one on the side of his so bed. you were facing the door. Yes. Yes, I was. And I think like, I want to say that the television was like to the right of the door, you know? Yeah. Okay. So in other words, you would be, and there was no room behind you for anything to pass. Either. No, no, no. I mean, it would clearly, it was almost like it was like walking, you know what I mean? And sometimes it would happen quicker than others. Uh, sometimes it was like out of the corner of my eye, and then I guess as I would be more aware of it, I would see, you know, and I can't even, like it was I, just something dark, tall, dark, shaped somewhat, I guess, like a person, but not, I mean, I can't say that for sure. Did it did it give any any impression of gender, male or female? <sighs> You know, I want to say male. I don't even know why I want to say that. But, yeah, I don't even know why I want to say that.